It is 26 June 2015. We have poured the last eight foot section of uh, pad for the woodworking shop. Um, we did five yards of concrete and we needed like 5.0001 or about half a wheelbarrow full to finish it off. So we have a hole there in our concrete that we'll uh, mix up a bag of sackcrete later and uh, throw that in there. I don't have, I only have about a quarter bag of sackcrete right now, which isn't enough. Uh, otherwise, I'd just do it while it's wet, but um, we'll have to pick up a bag of sackcrete later and stick it in there. So it almost worked out right. Our calculations were almost right. Like I said, about half a wheelbarrow short of uh, five yards. So, and uh, we got the uh, RV pad poured. We'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, here's our uh, RV patio pad that we got poured. Uh, we were able to float that out. It was a shady, cooler day today. And uh, as a matter of fact, we even had some uh, sprinkles come down while we were uh, floating this out. So um, it was a pretty easy job to float that. And uh, so we'll get some sod and stuff around it. Let it start growing back in. Get some gravel poured for uh, our uh, gravel pull around for the trailer and uh, we're making progress we'll get that that log that's over there pulled up here along the side and uh, some flat spots cut with the chainsaw uh, to act as a natural seat on this edge of the, the pad and uh, like I said making progress